I guess my story starts like so many others, with a girl. A girl who worked in a photography store in a quiet little corner of Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Julia. What are you doing, Harry? Are you meant to be playing with that camera? <laughs> the two of us grew up together, born the same month, lived on the same block. To her, we were best friends. To me? Well, never mind. I know you have to test it, but does it always have to be on me? Well, you're not getting a serious photo out of me. I can assure you of that. I shall be silly until you put that camera away. Right. I have to get back to work now. You should do the same. Morning, my good man. Morning, sir. How may I help? A portrait, perhaps, in that fine uniform? Name's Barrett. Major Barrett. I'm looking for a photographer. Well then, Major, you've come to the right place. Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff. Upstairs. Who is this fine fellow, then? Your son, I take it. Oh, God, no. That's just Harry. Works for me. Utterly useless. Forgive me, but have we met before? Your face looks familiar. Ah, I've been in the papers a bit. Done the odd recruitment poster. Oh, my. Welcome. How are things over in Europe, Major? As well as can be expected. We fight the good fight as best we can. Fine place you have here. Do you take commission? Ah, here we are. You took your time, boy. Useless. Poor lad. I'm sure he's trying his best. <laughs> here you are, Major. To your health. Why, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Now, you said something about needing a photographer? Yes, yes. Who took these? They're exceptional. Just the kind of pictures I'd need in the fight against the Germans. Ah, oh, blödes Funkgerät. Kurt, du bist der Techniker. Reparier das Ding. Brennt immer um dieselbe Zeit durch. Schnell, die Berichte kommen gleich. Das richtig gehört, Kurt? IA 125? In der Einheit ist auch dein Sohn Max, oder? Alles noch unbestätigt. Ist wahrscheinlich gar nichts, aber ich sag's den anderen. Dear Katrin. I've done something I know you will not agree with. It's about Max. It's about our son. I know now why his letters are not reaching you at the farm. Kurt, wir warten schon. Zieh den Hebel. Die Ehre gebührt dir.
Das wird mir wohl nie langweilen. Fast geschafft. Noch ein Hebel. Da hinten, vor der Leiter. Danke, Kurt. Wunderschön, oder? Viele von uns hier in der Fabrik haben Söhne in der Einheit. Sie haben sich alle zusammengemeldet, alle aus demselben Dorf. Wolf sagt, dass es noch nichts besteht. Ist bestimmt nur ein Missverständnis. Das würde ich gern glauben. Aber es war die Nummer ihrer Einheit. Und wir haben Krieg. Kurt, dein Sohn Max ist doch auch in der Einheit, ihr 125. Machst du dir keine Sorgen? Entspann dich. Ihr macht euch alle nur so viele Sorgen, weil die Heimat so weit weg ist. Kannst du den Direktor fragen, Kurt? Er weiß bestimmt etwas und er respektiert dich. So the pictures from Taylor's new camera were great. And Julia looked beautiful. But I'd never tell her that, of course. Don't know why, but I kept one of those photos. Still have it to this day. Come on, boy. Do your damn job. There's no rush. I'm sure the lad's trying his best. So make it a good one, boy. Major, would you also mind a picture with my daughter, Julia? Not at all. It would be my pleasure. Come here, girl. In you get. Make sure you frame them both in, Harry. Come on, girl. I don't bite. Tell me, Major, are you married? Father! Truth be told, I wish it was me in that photo. The way she was around Barrett. 
I'd never seen her like that before. Julia was right. He was a hero. Der Direktor weiß bestimmt etwas. Wir müssen ihn fragen. IA 125? Die meisten Jungs von zu Hause sind in der Einheit. Bitte, Kurt, frag den Direktor. Du kennst ihn länger als wir alle. Er respektiert dich. I needed answers. We all did. So many of us at the factory have sons who went to war together. Some were even in the same unit as Max. The chief had a direct line of communication to the front. If anyone knew the truth behind these rumors, it would be him. Ah, Sie kommen genau richtig. Es gibt Neuigkeiten. Einige Männer aus der IR-125 werden zwar vermisst, aber deswegen sind sie noch lange nicht tot. Wir wissen bestimmt bald mehr. Aber fürs Erste muss die Produktion weitergehen. Wir können ihnen jetzt nicht helfen. Wir können nur beten. The others may have been content to pray, to hope for the best. But I could not. What became of our son's unit? I had to know. So I have gone to the front, Katrin. I have gone to find Max. I'm impressed, Harry. You're a real professional with that camera. Listen, I'm heading back to France in a few days. You should join me. Help your country, take a few photos, return home a hero. And remember, Harry, women love a man in uniform. And it was in that very moment I decided I was going to war. I left and never looked back. Julia gave me Mr. Taylor's best camera. Truth be told, I didn't ever want to go to war. I only ever wanted that uniform. Maybe one day, Julia would look at me the way she looked at Major Barrett. After that, it was all a bit of a blur. So much happened over that next month. They signed me up, put me on a train to the coast. They even gave me that uniform. You will think I'm impulsive, but to me, there, there was no choice. Our son is missing at war. I, I cannot deal with doubt. I will not live with uncertainty. This is my path now. And before I knew it, I was taking photos in the middle of the ocean. I'd never even left Canada, let alone been on a ship before. You could have fit Taylor's whole photography store on the front deck alone. I'd wake up early each morning to practice with my camera. We must have been close to shore that day. For the first time in weeks, I saw birds. The camera Julia gave me was marvelous, the best I'd ever used. I could even change the lens to see things close up. Photos on the boat were easy. <laughs> I'd had more trouble with customers back home.
But once we arrived, I didn't know what to expect. Everyone said the Germans were crazy. So I'm on a train heading out of Germany, where I write to you now. It's not a comfortable journey, being on this train. For you, my darling, nothing changes. I will still be away from home. Only now, I will carry out my duties as an engineer on the front lines. I will enclose a letter to Lucy to tell her I, I have gone to find her brother. Zwei Monaten sind wir wieder zu Hause. Unwahrscheinlich, so wie es an der Front für uns gelaufen ist. Stimmt. Franzosen halten wir da. Wenn die Amerikaner eingreifen, Amerika wischt sich nicht ab. Oh, Mensch, wir sind nicht Kaiser weiß, was er tut. Wir müssen uns keine Sorgen machen. Stehen bleiben! Das ist ein Munitionswagen, Soldat. Hier hast du nichts verloren. Wenn irgendetwas passiert, selbst die kleinste Erschütterung, weißt du, was diese Minen anrichten? Up early as usual, Harry. You're keen. I like that in my men. <laughs> Photographs of seagulls won't make the papers, son. Or are they for that girl back home? Trust me, she's not interested. But she will be, once you and I make those headlines together. Come on, let's get a few practice. Now, here's an idea. You, Private, get over here on the double. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yes. That's it. Smile for the camera, my lad. Last one, Harry. Let's try one with the ocean in the background. Oh. Oh. Wait. Mines. Mines! I have a place to write to home. Beim nächsten Wagen kann bestimmt jemand bei so etwas helfen. Und Vorsicht auf dem Weg nach draußen. Thank you. 
is on the port side. Ship's too close to the mines. Okay. Christ, we're okay. the only ones here. We need to let the captain know. Listen, ring the bell on the right if the ship should steer right. Or ring the bell on the left if the ship should steer left. Look lively, lad. I'll tell the captain. You keep your eyes on the sea. So, there I was, running left and right, ringing those bells like I was in church. I don't expect you to believe me, but I'm telling you, that's what happened. To this day, I don't know why Barrett asked me to signal the captain. But for the first time in my life, I felt like I had purpose. a scratch. I knew you had it in you, lad. Keep it up and that girl back home will be yours in no time. Ha! Now there's a photo for you, Harry. The King's Feist, clearing the path to our Nein, aber der hat vielleicht eine Stimme. Schön, dich kennenzulernen. Ich heiße Lothar. Ich bin Kurt. Eins nach dem anderen. Magst du Musik? Dann setz dich und wir spielen noch was. Langsam alles knapp. Die deutschen Vorräte sind so knapp, wir mussten den Nachschub für Bulgarien streichen. Ich habe dir nichts zu sagen. Nur nicht den Mut verlieren. Eine verdammte Uniform kratzt. Ich arbeite schon seit Stunden. Es ist richtig, dass wir hier sind. Das weiß ich. Hey, auf dem Land ist es noch schlimmer. Da wird langsam alles knapp. Die deutschen Vorräte sind so knapp, wir mussten den Nachschub für Bulgarien streichen. Ich habe dir nichts zu sagen. Nur nicht den Mut verlieren. Diese verdammte Uniform kratzt. Ich arbeite schon seit Stunden. Es ist richtig, dass wir hier sind. Das weiß ich. Hey. Machst du dir Sorgen? Natürlich nicht. Auf beiden Seiten gibt es Verluste. Deutschland ist stark. Tja, werden wir sehen, wenn wir Vimy erreichen. Dauert nicht mehr lange. And so I've found somewhere to write, to focus on what I must tell our daughter. I will, of course, be careful of the words I use. <laughs> she is still so young. Please tell Lucy. I 
hope she would understand. I hope you both will understand. Fortune smiled, Katrin. I've made new friends, Franz and Lothar. We play cards when we have the time and talk of home often. They're good men. I have arrived now, stationed at Vimy as an engineer. Engineers can use the radios, and I will listen for news of Max every single day. We spent weeks on that boat. And it was a few weeks more before we got to Vimy. I was so excited. Hell, I was like a kid at Christmas. And with the Major looking out for me, I wouldn't have to worry about the war. I will find out what happened to our son. I will not give up. Dear Catherine, my search for our son grows more hopeful by the day. Every day I ask the men if they have news, if somehow they have seen our boy. And today began just like any other. Wir sind beschäftigt, Kurt. Hast du nichts zu reparieren? Hallo Kurt, wie geht's? Das schon wieder. Ich hab doch gesagt, sieht aus wie eine Uniform der zweiten Division. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie in Vimy waren, Kurt. Tut mir leid. Geh weg! Hallo! Nicht schon wieder. Ich kann dir nicht helfen. Hörst du eher was über Funk, Kurt? Hallo, Kurt. Ich habe einige Jungs aus dem Regiment getroffen. Es hieß, sie sollten zur Somme. Some think I'm I'm mad to seek the same information from the same places day after day. But persistence always pays off in the end. Katrin, for today I learned of his location. I know where Max is now. This is it, Harry. Vimy. Follow me, son. I passed through here on my way back to Canada. Hasn't changed a bit. Come, I'll show you where you can send letters home. Well, if it isn't Major Ballast, welcome back, sir. I saw you in the papers, sir, looking sharp as ever. You're too kind. Any correspondence Just one for uh, Harry Lambert. You know him? That'll be from the pretty one back home, no doubt. Here, from a Julia Taylor. Dear Harry, I still can't believe you left. Our own Harry Lambert taking photographs of the Great War. It doesn't seem real somehow. My father knows his best camera is missing. He suspects you have it, but I told him it's not in your nature to steal. I won't tell if you want. Meet me by the three artillery cannons over there. Right. I'll show you the kind of photos we need. You gonna reply? Folk back home love receiving pictures. Don't be so. 
Is that a camera? Nice. Yeah, yeah. And there. Uh, yeah. This train here had a happy little accident. <laughs> we were laughing for days. The officers didn't find it funny, though. Move along, friend. Feel that, Harry? That rumble? That's the real war, just a few miles away. So that big bastard right there is Vimy Ridge. I can't wait to get my hands dirty and take it back from the Bosch. This will be a great picture. Front page of the Star. I can see it now. There are people you meet who change your life forever. People who, whether they know it or not, plot your life on a different course from the moment that they say hello. For me, that was the Major. I will always wonder what my life would have been like without him. Good, Gott sei Dank. Das Funkgerät ist wieder kaputt. Kannst du mal nachsehen? Ja? Da kann ich dir nicht helfen, Kurt. Am besten reparierst du das Funkgerät. Ich habe gehört, die Ersatzteile wären heute Morgen gekommen. Sieh doch mal nach. Danke, dass du den Munitionsaufzug repariert hast, Kurt. Ist so gut wie neu. Tut mir leid, Kurt. Ich weiß noch nichts Neues. Ich melde mich. Es ist nachts so kalt. Dieser Krieg ist in ein paar Monaten vorbei. Ich habe dir doch deine Briefe gegeben, oder? Dear Kurt, I'm troubled by the news of Max. I've wept for him so much that I feel like I have already mourned his death. I know that he may yet live, but it is so difficult not knowing. I... Danke. 
Hast du etwas über Max herausgefunden, Kurt? Nein. Das wird schon. Frag dich einfach durch. Irgendjemand weiß bestimmt etwas. Und wenn du mal Karten spielen willst, bist du uns immer willkommen. Dein Glück wird nicht ewig anhalten. Das ist kein Glück, Franz. Was würde ich nicht für ein Bar tun? Hier findest du bestimmt keins. Und wie komme ich weg von der Front? Lass dich anschießen. Klingt schmerzhaft. Aber dann kriegst du dein Bart. Ich wäre verwundet, aber sauber. Oder du wärst tot. Auf Tod kann ich verzichten. Dann musst du halt stinken. Also stinke ich. Fürs Vaterland! <lacht> Fürs Vaterland! Hey, Kurt, gibt's was Neues? Manchmal nachts sehe ich die Glut ihrer Zigaretten. Bisher habe ich es geschafft, nicht abzudrücken. Hallo, Kurt. Heute ist Nachschub gekommen. Hier. Irgendwas Neues über Max? Nein, danke. Hier ist alles im Eimer. I listened to the radio for hours before I heard. I'm sure they would understand. 